next video in today's video i will show you how to fetch background location in flutter without using any third party library so yeah let's get started as usual i have created a flutter project inside that i have created a method channel for our location platform and i also have created event channel because i will be continuously receiving data from native side regarding the latitude and longitude of the user and here i am listening to those uh, events whether uh, uh, so here you will get the latitude longitude and here i am cancelling our subscription and inside uh, uh, this uh, build method i have just taken a text button two text button one for starting the location and one for stopping the location so yeah that's it and here uh, we are calling get location and stop location respectively next uh, what i am doing is uh, inside android i will go to build.gradle uh, first of all i have changed the kotlin version to 1.8.20 next inside app build.gradle here i have added uh, location uh, library as well as this activity in fragment ktx uh, next go to android manifest and here you will have to add all these permissions also you will need to add this service class over here next go to kotlin so first of all uh, let me be clear i have copied this code from philip lackner's youtube channel but uh, there were some deprecated methods uh, which i have improved on so firstly i have improved on this uh, permission so for android t you have to ask for the notification permission as well next inside default location client uh, so here he was using some deprecated code so i have improved on that and like this is boilerplate code so even i don't understand much of it uh, but you need to write uh, this code to get the location next uh, here i have defined a callback so this callback will be used for sending data from service to main activity and the main activity say will send data to our uh, uh, to the dart side or to the flutter side next uh, for this is for location current for getting location updates or getting a location exception next i have defined a location service class so this is our service and so you you need to define all this because we need to send data back to the uh, uh, activity as well as this uh, we can't define this because we need this okay so remove this if you want to uh, next uh, this is our callback and here i am initializing our location client and he this is our start command okay and forget all this this is not required then once the location is started we i am setting up a notification so even if you put your app in background the notification would still be visible now i know some of you might be thinking why i am not asking for background location because if you ask for background location while deploying to google play store you have to justify why you are using background location that's why it is important to use foreground location and show a notification and that location we foreground location works even when the app when even when your app is not in the foreground okay and even if the user completely dismisses the app uh, you can keep your foreground location on uh, but that is not recommended but it's up to you you can uh, you know um, just i have uh, created one button of stop location right so you can remove that button if you want to keep tracking the user even if your app is completely closed but that is not recommended don't do that so you once i get the location latitude longitude i'm sending it back to the activity and here we are creating our notification manager and this is for stopping the location and this is for the destroy callback next inside main activity uh, as usual i am asking for all the permissions and this is our network event channel and this is for event channel uh, and once uh, i have requested all the permission uh, if i get all the permi if i don't get all the permission then i am sending it as false i'm just displaying a toast message but you can handle it however you want but if it is true then i'm checking whether the gps is enabled or not if it is enabled uh, then we are starting this uh, location uh, service otherwise i am redirecting him to the settings app to enable location next here i have defined our location service and this is required for uh, for the uh, communication from service to uh, main activity and here i have just defined our notification channel and inside configure flutter engine so here i have defined our event channel but be very careful if you are uh, make sure you add this question mark over here if you miss this question mark i know this might sound silly but if you miss this question mark uh, 
uh, your uh, event channel won't work like i spend in lot of time on this trying to figure this out and finally i found a solution for this thanks to stack overflow uh, next here i have just defined the get location and stop location method so here we are just asking for permission and this is the on location update callback which i'm running on main thread so i'm displaying a toast as well as sending it back to flutter side so that should be it for android for ios uh, so i will open my project of, uh, in xcode because i need to show you guys something so uh, by that time i will just show it from here inside app delegate dot swift so import core location and here i have defined our event sync as well as i have defined the location manager and this is our event channel and here i have defined our controller as well as flutter event channel and here uh, is the method channel for it and once get location is called we start updating the location for stop location we stop updating the location and here we get the uh, latitude and longitude which i am sending it via event sync and uh, these are the overridden methods of our event sync so i'm just uh, you know assigning it to our event sync variable and this is for handling the permission of location next inside info.plist you will need to add this nh location when in usage description as well as always and when in usage so these two permissions also you will have to go to your runner uh, go to signing and capabilities click on plus capability and add background modes and in, so once you add you have to enable this location updates background fetch as well as background processing so yeah i think that should be it. thank you for watching bye